I got nothing. My YouTube friend Carly Rowena. Dear Lord, this woman is so inspiring. Just phenomenal and amazing. And every time I look at her body, I am like, damn girl. If you haven't checked her out, please do. Link is down below. You shall not regret it. Hey guys and dolls, welcome back. So I was about to go out on a jog. Um, I got some new like exercise gear and I'm feeling so motivated and so pumped. I posted this picture on Instagram mentioning a little bit of an exercise challenge um, because I've got not a scrap of muscle left on my body and you guys seem really interested. One of my subscribers actually tweeted me about my Hot for Halloween challenge from last year which went down so well and basically that challenge was you drink two to three liters of water a day, you exercise for 30 minutes a day, whatever you want, and you eat two portions of fruit and three portions of vegetables a day. And you'd be surprised how many people actually don't do those things. It sounds so basic and straightforward. But yeah, no makeup on, just legging it out the door and I kind of thought that this would be a great opportunity to do another one of my healthy habits videos like the series I've been doing and I've already done a couple about my eating disorder, recovery, my struggles, all that jazz, they're linked down below. I guess what I really want to do is kind of get you guys involved and kind of make an interactive type thing where we all train together for a run in December before Christmas and I think this is such a great way to keep our minds and our bodies healthy through the cold months when we usually all sit inside and just are not arsed doing anything and we turn into tubs of a jelly. Magoo! I want to go over some motivation tips and advice in this video because I did used to run um, surprisingly even though I've been procrastinating on exercise so much recently I'm only human but yeah I did used to run races quite a lot I ran a few 10ks and I loved it and um, it's just that I kind of laid off a lot of heavy exercising during my eating disorder recovery and in the process of that I did lose my fitness and I'm ready now to get that back. My eating is so balanced and fine now. I'm fine with that part of my life, but I need to get some energy back and get the blood pumping again. I really, really miss it. So it does not matter where you live, you can still do this. There's races in every single country and usually run by charities and various companies. If you're in Ireland, I love to run a race with you. Um, it's something that I just think would be so much fun if we all did something like that together. There's one that sounds fantastic and it's um, an annual one just before Christmas, I think in December, by AWARE. And AWARE basically strive to encourage people with stress and depression to seek help. They want them to feel supported and understood and get rid of the stigma associated with depression. And come on, like depression's something so many of us go through. I can really get behind what they do and yeah, I really want to support what they're doing. I would be more than willing to pay to sign up for that race. And if you guys want to do that as well, I'll keep you all updated and we can all update each other via Twitter, via Instagram, via comments on YouTube videos. And I'll do my best to chat to you all and keep y'all motivated. If you're in a different country, just please let me know what race that you're planning on doing. Is it a 5K? Is it a 10K? And come here, we've so much time to practice. That's the great thing. It's only like September now, so we've got loads of time. And no matter when you're watching this video, just do this as well. Just use it as a way to motivate yourself and inspire yourself to start exercising. If running isn't your thing, just find some activity that you love doing and do it for 30 minutes every single day. I'm not going to be running every single day. Um, on some days, I'll be just walking instead because um, you need rest days every week. At least two or three rest days is fine. Other things I'd really encourage you guys to do to build your lean muscle mass at home is just body weight exercises or some exercises with some handheld weights. You can use objects if you don't have weights, but just maybe buy some cheap weights if you can. My go-tos used to be squats, push-ups and planks, and they kind of covered all the main muscle groups. So I'm going to be every single day doing squats. I'm gonna do the squat challenge. So I'm gonna start with 50 squats a day, then each day going up by five. I think that's how it works. So I'm gonna try and do that for a month solid. And then with push-ups, I'm gonna start off at like 10 or 20 a day, cause that's all these little chicken arms can handle. And I'm also going to be holding the plank for extra time each day so I'll start off probably with 30 seconds or a minute and um, I remember I used to be able to do the plank for five minutes so let's see where we get. I just want to talk through a little bit why I'm choosing running as my 
primary exercise of choice. Um, it improves your health. We all know that it prevents disease, boosts your immune system. It does help you lose weight if that's your goal. It boosts your confidence and relieves depression because it releases so much endorphins into your body. Even the shortest run, even five or 10 minutes a day will give you a boost of amazing hormones. There are actually few things in the world that can treat depression more rapidly than running. If you're planning on starting running and you're a beginner, firstly, look at what you're gonna be wearing. So you want to wear exercise gear that you're gonna be comfortable in. Socks, bottoms, I've got these by Adidas and Disney socks. I'm not gonna wear them when I exercise. This kind of hoodie thing is by Millie and Jim because it's a little bit cold out. I also have an Adidas top and then I have a sports bra, I think which is from Adidas as well. I'm not sponsored by Adidas, I just like them. I've picked up a few varying sets of these and even really cheap stores, you know, like Penny's Primark sells exercise gear and you can always get great discounts on them if you just shop around. Wear something you're comfortable in. If you're running outside, make sure you're wearing like light reflective stuff so you don't die on the road. Hydrate before, hydrate after do your stretches when you're finished running. I was told when I was doing the running club actually in university not to stretch before running. Um, and that was from like someone who was qualified. So I've never stretched before running. I always stretch after running. Also something that's so important is music. Get a really good playlist. Get all your favorite tunes that get you really pumped and put them into a playlist on your iPod or whatever musical device you like to bring with you. And please leave me a comment with your favorite workout music because I want to try and listen to like some of you guys' favorite songs while I'm out running. Um, even if they're ones that you think I'll never have heard of or that I won't like, tell me because I genuinely do love all sorts of music. Classical, rock, pop, dance, soundtrack, everything, absolutely everything. And the greatest thing about running is that it's free. You've got no excuses not to do it because everybody lives somewhere with flat ground outside. And if you can find somewhere near your home, that's like a circle type track, like a park or a green, and you can just do laps around the green or a road where you can run out to a certain point and run back. Start off slow. If you can't jog, just walk, which means walk slash jog. So you'll, you know, walk for a couple of minutes, jog for a minute, walk for a couple of minutes, jog for a minute and just do this every time you go out the most important thing is just going outside the door you can build it up as you go along and a great tip that I like to do to make myself get out there is put my runners at the door like right at the front door on the mat every night every day just put them right there it makes you feel bad if you're not doing it and it reminds you why you want to do this Keep track of your progress. Write down your goals. Write down what you've done each day. Write down what you want to achieve. You can create files in your computer full of, you know, motivating images that you find motivating. You can create a board on your wall. You can reward yourself with, you know, little gifts to yourself every time that you reach a milestone. So say you run your first 5K and you never thought you could. Save up for that and go out and buy yourself something pretty that you just think you deserve. I want all of you every single one of you watching this to just make some kind of commitment to do this with me do this with us let's just do this as a team and help each other i'm only human you're only human and we all need a boost of motivation every now and then and signing up for a race like this from aware is helping others it's helping yourself it's helping your state of mind your physical health your body and that transcends into all the other aspects in your entire life makes life jolly good jolly great i know videos like this used to really help me when i was struggling with my weight and when i was very overweight so no matter what level of fitness you're at just do this please just do this commit to something and know that i'm going to be doing this for the next month and so are thousands of other people so leave me a comment tell me your goals tell me your tracks that you like to listen to and hook up with me on twitter and instagram and i'll leave these both linked right here go on go on go on go on go on <laughs> bye i became orthorexic fearing all foods that were deemed by me to be unhealthy and unclean i became depressed again